Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and what are my next price targets here for the next couple of hours and days. It's gonna be very exciting because Bitcoin currently is forming some bearish patterns but of course for the long term Bitcoin is still looking very bullish. And before we start my friends a little reminder if you are trading over on Bybit we have this special jingle bro tournament going on it's an individual tournament where you can win up to eight bitcoins at the moment and also some very nice uh, prices as well so if you're trading over on Bybit make sure to join this event It's completely for free and uh, you just need a minimum of 0.01 bitcoin in your account and if you don't want to trade at your own try out this prime xpt feature where you can copy trade other traders and these top traders over here sometimes has some slots free so you can easily just top up a little bit of bitcoin over here and copy trade other traders so you don't have to do anything just click here on this button follow and automatically it will follow this trader so try it out if it works out for you you can put even more bitcoin and then see if you can get a lot of gains here as well so you can multiply your bitcoin very easily and next to that of course you find also other links to other exchanges like binance crypto.com and also coinbase down below here because with my links you can get some free money especially these ones over here on a coinbase you can claim them completely for free you just have to click on my invitation links that you find down below here for example you can get some free compound some free band protocol but this is only for coinbase users only and now my friends let's start with the content and we're gonna start here in the one hour because in the one hour time frame it looks like that we could be building up this rising wedge that of course is a bearish pattern and it could break out to the downside only if we are able to go above $19,000 so above this red resistance that we have above of us here I think we could be good to go again to the upside to potentially break 20k and go higher but since we are now entering in a potential downtrend and the major correction could be in the cards, I think this resistance will not get broken anytime soon. At least not before we're gonna bottom out at the target that I think we will reach. So therefore I'm leaning more into the bearish side right now. And that's why we also have to keep a very close eye here in the lower time frames because also here in the one hour we can see where the potential next move is coming up here for Bitcoin especially in the next couple of hours so the one hour time frame is looking like that we could be again forming a bearish pattern and we will potentially break down here towards our support currently at around $17,500 you can also see that we are trading below all the moving averages and the RSI is right at the 50 level so here in the one hour in my opinion we will see a potential breakout towards $17,500 pretty soon but it is also possible that first we're coming up to test the 100 or 200 moving average at around eighteen thousand eight hundred dollar and now let's switch over into the four hour because this time frame is way more important now and uh, here you can see this potential falling wedge that we could be forming here it's still a bit early to tell but i think it is very likely that we will stay within this channel here before we're gonna see a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside because there is still the risk that we could go lower than sixteen thousand dollar but sixteen thousand is in my opinion at least a potential bottom for now and i think at sixteen thousand we will see if from there on we're gonna immediately bounce back up again or we're gonna break towards fourteen thousand to the downside that is of course also in the cards but i think at sixteen thousand we already will have a lot of by pressure and here you can clearly see that currently we are bouncing from the 200 moving average this is what i was expecting here in the last couple of videos i told you that most likely we're coming down to this moving average retest it and then we're gonna see if we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside or if we're gonna lose this support we're gonna break down towards sixteen thousand dollar so that's why i think we will most likely stay between the 200 moving average and all the other moving averages especially this one here the 20 right at eighteen thousand seven hundred dollar i don't think that we will have a four hour close again above this moving average and even if so we have to come down again and also retest it so it is possible that we're gonna squeeze within these two moving averages before we're gonna see a clear breakout here again to the upside or to the 
downside and that's why i think most likely we're gonna start to trade sideways but more to the downside towards sixteen thousand dollar before the next big move and that's why my friends i think in the next couple of hours and days we will see this sideways moving unless of course we're gonna fall already now below the main support of seventeen thousand five hundred dollar or break above nineteen thousand so we have to keep an eye here what is going on here also in the four hour this is looking still a bit bearish in my opinion but we have to wait here for a clear breakout in my own indicator we got the buy signal down here but you can see that the money flow is already coming down so it is possible that we're just gonna start to trade sideways RSI is below the 50 level so we are here in theory trading on the bearish side also here the bollinger bands in the four hour you can see that we are trading in the lower end also macd and ksd are still shifted to the downside and the stochastic is gonna have a bearish cross right now so that's why i think it is very likely that we're gonna stay in this channel here or maybe even have a breakout to the downside straight towards sixteen thousand dollar buff is possible but i think we will most likely gonna do this sideways thing here before the next big move and we can go also over into the daily time frame because here i want to show you again that we are trading below the 20 daily moving average and uh, here you can see that the, with the last drop we exactly bounced here at the 20 daily moving average and then had another big bounce to the upside created also this bearish divergence here in the daily and right now we are having this correction but this time you see that we are trading now below the 20 daily moving average and if we are able to stay a couple of days right here along the 20 daily moving average and also fight this moving average i think it is very likely that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside because the more we're testing this moving average the weaker it gets but since we are now trading below i think the risk here is very high that we're gonna see a big fall here at least towards the 50 daily moving average at around sixteen thousand dollar and if this one will not hold we have to look at the previous resistance line here right at fifteen thousand dollar and if this one will not hold we might see a complete retracement back down towards the 200 daily moving average here at twelve thousand dollar in my opinion i don't think that we will reach here the 200 daily moving average of course it's possible but I think it is more likely that we're gonna bottom out somewhere between sixteen to fourteen thousand dollars before we're gearing up for the next big move to the upside and therefore we can go over into the weekly time frame because here you can see the nine weekly moving average right at sixteen thousand dollar and this is where i think we could be bottoming out and then bounce again to the upside in the last bull runs bitcoin always bounced here at the nine weekly moving average or latest here at the 20 weekly moving average at thirteen thousand four hundred dollar and that's why i think it is not very likely that we will have a complete retracement back down here towards twelve thousand dollar i think the worst case scenario is really here between sixteen thousand and fourteen thousand dollar and in the weekly time frame you can also see that we are still very overbought the rsi didn't cool much yet and also in my own indicator you can see that the correction might just has started and that's why i think at least towards the end of the week we're gonna see here this correction playing out and that's why we have to keep an eye where we're gonna be at the end of this week right here at the nine weekly moving average or maybe even towards the 20 weekly moving average because maybe once we're reaching these price levels we're gonna bottom out and from there on start the next big parabolic move to the upside so even though bitcoin of course is looking very bullish for the long term and we should not forget that at the end it doesn't matter if you buy now or buy down here at 14 or 16 thousand dollar at the end you will be doing very fine because bitcoin is in a confirmed bull run but of course if you have some fiat on the sideline and you want to try to buy as much bitcoin as possible then wait for this correction to completely play out i think we still have some room left to the downside this was just the beginning here but at least till the end of the week we're gonna see if this is going to be a short-lived correction or maybe we're gonna need some more days and weeks to completely play out this correction because usually bitcoin during a bull run has really just short-lived correction and then immediately continues the parabolic run-up so if you want to try to catch these dips then you have to be already prepared on coinbase swissborg or binance to buy the dips and of course if you're trading with leverage over on bybit or femex to already start to long bitcoin once we're reaching these potential bottom targets because as soon as bitcoin is going again parabolic to the upside and reach our potential targets 
towards 100k and higher even with a small amount of money here if you're long let's say with 10x leverage you can do really nice gains that will change your life of course and that's why make sure that you're ready also to trade with leverage over on Bybit or Femex even with smaller amounts because if you do it the right way and you catch a good long position in one or two years this long position could be really life changing and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button also thank you again very much for the 2000 subscribers my friends we have a great crypto family here and if you want more of this crypto stuff then make sure to join me over on discord we have a great trading chat over there and of course you're also very welcome to join my twitch channel all the links are down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye